Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I don't want to go that way. There's Justin and his skater policy. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd rather not, Daniel. Not that I don't want you to. Never mind. I guess you would be too ashamed. Now, I have to get back to my drawing. Clever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh, sorry. I won't bother you. Let's talk later, okay, Max? Uh, hello? Max. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Uh, hello? Max. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott. Yes, he's... You, you know him. Not really, I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Let's talk later, okay, Max? Uh, hello? Max. Oh, sorry. Let's talk later, okay, Max? Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talk- What's wrong? Nathan Press- Yes, he's a- You- you know him. Not really, I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than- I busted him to- what? I saw... I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. 
Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my, you can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're work. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're... Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Sweet! Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Bro. Sweet. Awesome. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Awesome. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? 
I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Seriously, Max, I don't want to talk. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be a... There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Awesome. No. No. Awesome. Sweet. Just... Nice, bro. Yeah. Nice, bro. If I told Warren what's going on, would he laugh? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Everybody said I'd love being on my own in a dorm. Nice, bro. Wrong. Sweet. 
Nice, bro. No. This place looks like such a hub of scholastic joy. Looks. Hi, Kate. Hey, Mac. You look down. Sweet. I'm kind of... Is there any... Mac... Nice, bro. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X-Files weird. My friends and family said I would blossom on my own. I feel like ass.
Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Oh, only she would know that, right? Ah, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. What was she like? Nice she must girl. have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. You nice. knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. Awesome. After I sweep, I paint. <laughs> Sorry, Max. No more talk. I have to finish this before I paint. No! <laughs> Howdy, Samuel. Well, sweet. You look busy, Samuel. I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Awesome. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that, son. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step. Sweet. <laughs> Howdy, Samuel. Well. What's up? Only. Ah. Uh, Sweet. You can't. See you later, Sam. And watch. Awesome. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Oh, dude. Oh. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll ex Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. 
Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Sorry, no she looks like a pissed off like. wet cat, and she's still stylish. Okay, let's see if this works. Sweet. No. Sweet. Hey, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. Oh, man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go-fuck-your-selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her.
Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. is going to be pissed we took so long. Courtney! Hurry, Courtney! How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. They live. They live. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Could be thanks for the warning. Obvious, but true. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look hard to believe I'm 18? Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Ahoy, Captain. 
At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Eddie. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was, man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get... I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should... It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream.
<sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends. Cartier, Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tour. That was a man. Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont troll. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. That, that was a man. Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont troll. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday.
Anne slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell.